Have you just gotten a brand new Boston Terrier puppy and you want some tips on how to properly train them? In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 tips on how to train your Boston Terrier puppy, coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over a decade, and today what I do is cover 10 tips on how to properly train them. And these can be... <laughs> And these tips are really designed in a way if you are, no matter if you're trying to potty train your Boston, if you're teaching them to sit, teaching them to shake, follow these 10 tips every time so you can have a successful training session. Okay, my very first tip is actually all about your Boston Terrier's food. And this is really a three-part tip. Within the first part of this tip is there's an article on PetMD and they reference Nan Arthur. She's a dog behaviorist and she actually talks about changing the demeanor of your dog by giving it two to three meals a day with some moderate exercise. If you have a Boston that needs an attitude change, this is something that you can look into. I would definitely talk with your veterinarian before you end up altering your Boston's diet. But if you're one of those people, like myself, whenever I grew up as a kid, it was, you know, you feed your dog once a day, don't do that. Two to three times a day can actually have a better effect. And think about if you were only eating once a day and that was it. Some food for thought, I'll leave that article in the show notes below if you wanna read more about that. Now, the second part of tip number one when it comes to food is actually making sure your Boston Terrier is getting fatty acids, specifically DHA fatty acids. Now, there have been some studies and this PetMD article references it where studies have been done and puppies and kittens who have eaten dog food that has fatty acid DHA in it are actually more trainable. Now, if you wanna supplement and give this to your dog, even if it's an older Boston Terrier, it can still benefit from this. You'll wanna feed it things like salmon, anchovies, pollock, eggs, even canned tuna and sardines. This is just another way to give you a little bit of an edge whenever you're training your Boston Terrier. Now, the third part within this tip number one food relates to antioxidants and it says, Dogs over seven years of age are less likely to suffer from age-related behavioral issues when they have an antioxidant-enriched diet. Feeding your dog things like blueberries, kale, carrots will help increase the antioxidants in their body. And once again, to cover these three parts within food in more in depth, I'll leave the article in the show notes below so you can check it out. My second tip is learn your Boston Terrier's body language. What does your dog do whenever it's happy? For Bella here, you know, Boston's have a little stubby tail. Bella just waggles her whole body whenever she's happy. You wanna learn what your Boston Terrier does when it's happy, when it's sad, mad. Now, if you have a little puppy, obviously there's gonna be some learning involved, but you wanna start trying to learn your Boston Terrier's body language. And this will help you whenever you're doing some whatever training exercise it might be to pick up on, oh, they're not enjoying this or they are liking it and you can keep going. Tip number three is praise the good. Anytime your Boston does something that you enjoy or like during that training session, you're gonna wanna praise them. And praise can literally mean giving them a toy, giving them a treat, or literally just saying, good dog, thank you, words of affirmation, basically. You wanna think of your Boston Terrier just like you would raise your child, right? With positive reinforcement. And there's been some literature talking about how positive reinforcement training is actually better and more effective than positive punishment training. So some of the positive punishment training techniques you might be thinking of is like jerking on the leash. You know, Caesar Milan talks about that. And Emily and I have followed Caesar Milan's training whenever it comes to Bella. And a lot of this literature says that is not the most effective way. Actually, positive reinforcement works much better than positive punishment. Think about this whenever you're training your Boston Terrier, whether it's not to pull on the leash, or maybe you're training them to go potty or training them to sit, use positive reinforcement. Tip number four is keep a positive attitude, right? Your Boston is gonna be picking up on the energy <laughs> that you're putting out there. Bella here, I remember one time I came home, there was trash everywhere because she had torn it up. I didn't have to say anything. She just felt the energy coming from my body because I was very upset. And Boston's pick up on that. They are very emotional. So as long as you're positive throughout the training session, your Boston will be too. Now, tip number five is exercise and mental stimulation. Let's just focus on exercise actually, because if say you come home, your Boston is gonna wanna you know, be full of energy. They're gonna wanna play with you you need to go take them either for a walk or maybe for a little jog, something to get them exercise, to get all that pent up energy out. Because otherwise if you come straight from home and you're like, I'm gonna do a training session with my little puppy, 
Yeah, right. They're not going to be paying attention to you. This is why doing a little walk beforehand, just giving them a little bit of exercise is going to make them more mentally focused for whatever it is you plan on training them to do. Tip number six is keep the training short. Now, Bella here, anytime we do some sort of training session, you know, it's not very long. I would say no longer than 15 minutes if I had to throw a number out there. Now, once again, this goes back to the other tip as far as knowing your Boston Terrier's body language, because if they're enjoying it, by all means, keep going. But just know you want to keep them as short as possible where you can keep your dog engaged. Now, tip number seven is be consistent. So whatever you've decided is going to be how you're gonna teach your dog to sit or stay or not jump or not pull. You need to keep it consistent throughout the whole training process. This means, you know, husband and wife, they need to be on board. You need to know your, let your whole family know how you want your Boston Terrier to be trained. So this way it's not confusing to your Boston whenever they go for a walk with your children versus your wife or husband or other significant other. Tip number eight is practice training everywhere. So if you go to the dog park, do some of your commands there at the dog park. It gets your Boston out of a different environment. You're really reinforcing that training to make sure that they're not just getting it whenever they're in the house in your bedroom and they know not to jump up there. You want to take that, you know, not jump out into the real world so you can apply some of those training techniques. Now, tip number nine is have realistic expectations. Don't think that you're going to teach your Boston Terrier not to pull on a leash in an afternoon, right? This is gonna take some time, so just have some realistic expectations. Now let's take potty training for an instance, because this is a big one. Now on the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group and community, a lot of people wanna know how long is it gonna take their Boston Terrier to learn how to be properly potty trained. Now this question has been asked a number of times, so I've just compiled all that data, and basically it's gonna take you anywhere from realistically a month to six months to properly potty train your Boston Terrier. Of course, there are those people, I've seen them in the Facebook group, you know, their Boston Terrier picked it up in a day, a week, and then there's some of those people who had actually took their Boston Terrier a year to be properly potty trained. Now, Bella here, she still has accidents from time to time. Now, this is something that falls on me for not properly learning her cues or knowing her cues and then just not taking her out whenever she needs it. Any of the training you do is not gonna be overnight. It's gonna take some time. Be realistic. If you wanna potty train your Boston, know that it's gonna be a couple months in the process. Now, tip number 10 is get outside help from a professional. Whether this is going to in-person classes, you can talk to your veterinarian. They are gonna know dog trainers in your area and they're gonna have some great references there. So that's where I would look first. Now there are a number of online dog training places that you can check out too. I'll leave some of those in the show notes below if you wanna go check out some online dog training. And then of course, there's a plethora of YouTube videos, right? Where you can watch different trainers doing different things, whether or not that's potty training your Boston Terrier, teaching it to set. I would say definitely go through YouTube, check some of those videos out and just see what resonates with you and choose the one that you feel most comfortable with because no matter the training techniques or how one trainer does it versus another, I think as long as it's positive reinforcement style training, you're on the right path. You wanna find someone that you can relate to and someone who you can enjoy following. But once again, I'll leave some classes in the show notes below if you wanna check them out. Now, question of the day, what do you think is the most important tip when training your Boston Terrier? Put it in the show notes below. That way for people coming to this video can actually go to the show notes and they can get some additional resources, how you guys, or at least what you guys think is the most important way to train your Boston Terrier. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. If you wanna learn more about training your Boston, you can check a playlist out that I created here, all about training Boston Terriers, or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Bella sleeping.